2019 Softail Slim. I bought it brand new and I absolutely love this bike. Handles great. Milwaukee 8 has plenty of power to make it go. I added Viking saddlebags and a tail lamp, tail lamp relocation kit. Um, I also added Reinhardt slip-on mufflers. Uh, removable backrest. I got the docking hardware on here. I don't have a backrest on there right now. Uh, I painted a Punisher logo on the air filter, air cleaner housing. I, uh, I really like the way the stock air cleaner housing looked. Just need a little something. So I painted a Punisher logo, tribute to Chris Kyle. Uh, added Arnott Air Ride. So this thing has Air Ride. I can adjust it, lower it, raise it, make it nicer for rides depending on who's whether or not I'm on here, me and my wife. I got three different seats. This is the Saddleman Profiler. I also have a Saddleman Explorer, and then I got the stock seat. Uh, to me, all three, all three seats add a little bit different look and personality to the motorcycle. Uh, it's kind of nice because I can switch them anytime. But this is my bike, and I absolutely love it. Keep on keeping on. After riding the Softail Slim last year, we took the bike on some trips and just decided that we needed a bike maybe a little bit more suitable for longer rides. So we looked for a used bike, found this 2008 Electric Glide Ultra Classic and uh, bought this bike. It's in really good shape. Uh, we really liked it because it's got the tour pack on the back and the hard bags, got all kinds of storage. Um, thing only had 10,000 miles. It's a 2008 with 10,000 miles. Went through it, tuned it up, normal stuff, air filter, spark plugs, oil filter, all the fluids, changed all three. Uh, put a Hogworks Halo Maker headlight on it and the matching uh, passing lamps, the matching LED passing lamps. Uh, smoked windshield. We uh, also added Cobra round tip billet mufflers, uh, billet slip-ons. Bike had the original exhaust on it. It was kind of plain and boring. Needed something just a little more exciting. So uh, we then added the chrome luggage rack and a new set of Dunlop tires. And this is it. She's ready to go. She's all set for us for this year. Keep on keeping on, everybody. Hi, this is Brandy and Jason. We're from Brunswick, Maine. And this is our 2019 Road Glide Standard. Her name is Vivian. We got her at the end of the riding season last year, so we've only got about 4,500 miles on her so far. We replaced the primary cover, added some highway pegs. We have a set of KST Custom 14-inch Renegade bars with the Willie G hand grips. We did replace the fuel door. Best investment so far has been the Harley Tallboy seat totally changed the rides so much more comfortable. We have a set of Reinhardt slip-ons. We replaced the timing cover and we added axle nut covers to it. And that's about all so far. We do have an eight and a half inch black Memphis Shades windshield coming later, or next week, I guess. So that'll be changed before next weekend's ride. But that's what's between our legs. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone. This is Matt down in Louisiana with my uh, 2017 Road Glide Special. This is what we ride. Bought this bike back in July of last summer with 3,300 miles out of Florida. And the first thing I did was get on it and ride it about a thousand miles home to North Louisiana. It's got 30,000 miles on it now, so we are not slacking in the riding department. Up front, I've got Michelin Commander three tires and uh, Custom Dynamics LED turn signals all the way around Memphis shade six and a half inch dark smoke windshield uh, KST 14 inch outlaws handlebars I just finished this week 
SNS Sidewinder 2 into 1 exhaust with the high flow air filter. So basically, it's a stage one now and tuned it with the Vanson Hines FP3 and bought the ghost pipe because these bikes look goofy to me without dual exhaust if you don't have stretch bags. So, this is Matilda. We've had her a little while, put a lot of miles on her. Plan on keep on, keep it on. Y'all stay ornery. All right, you ornery asses, this is Matt Kelly, also known as Irish. This is my 2001 Road King Classic. LED headlights, a bat wing, of course, white walls to go with the Classic. Engine is pretty much stock. Chrome, pretty much everything. Classic bags. I have an aftermarket bag here on the back that came with some crappy straps. So I fabricated a quick release system for it. LED turn signals front and back. One of the most important parts to me Kiriak and sound bar, 300 amp. You can hear it just fine at 85. Well, here she is. So what's between my legs? See ya. So have a good one, guys. And hey, just so you know, this is what's between my legs. How you doing, guys? Uh, my name is Glenn Kroll. I'm from upstate New York, Saratoga County. This is what's between my legs, ornery asses. It's a 1986 Honda Goldwing. Not a lot of bells and whistles. This is an interstate version. I added a Amazon radio. Uh, not a lot of money to work with. A uh, powered phone charger. The Zero 3D big ass cup holder. Um, I have my uh, GoPro mount on my engine guard. Highway pegs. Um, I added a uh, aftermarket windshield, plus two inch. I'm a little bit taller, heavier guy, so it uh, works perfect for me. Brand new tire this year. Uh, added a few stickers to it. Pretty much, like I said, it's all original paint. It's a one owner bike besides myself. Um, got uh, 60,000 miles on it now it had like 38 when I got it three years ago sporting the flags one nice little interesting fact about this is it has been to our local rally here in upstate the Adirondacks called the Maricade since 1986 it's been to every one uh, he took them. I've been uh, fulfilling that, I guess, and taking her up every year. Unfortunately, it's a helmet law state. I have one of those. But, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty much a runner. I ride it as much as I can. Unfortunately, not as often as I'd like. But that is what is between my legs. 1986 made in america in ohio goldwing thank you good morning honor asses this is my 2003 harley electric light classic i bought it about a year and a half ago she's done me well uh screaming eagle stage three kit the intake sns 510 cams uh Reinhardt True Duels, and that's about it. Everything else is on oh, a Corbin seat. I do have a tour pack for it. I'm about to go put it on. We're about to go for a ride for the, our Marine Corps Club. And uh, hopefully it don't rain today. It's been raining pretty shitty this week. So hopefully we'll see what happens. And everybody else out there, be safe. We'll start her up for you.
Got to push these compression releases down. And she is fuel injected. She runs and she goes. You guys be safe. Howdy, on your asses. BJ and the bear here. I got an update on my, uh, on the bear. And, uh, as you can see, I've got the tour pack added with the uh, luggage rack on top. I added the touring seat. I just used my backrest. It's got, uh, it's a heated seat for rider and passenger. And then I did the floorboards for the passenger to match the floorboards for the uh, rider. So this is what it looks like. Anyway, that's the changes I made since the last video. See ya. All right, here's what's between my legs. 2007 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. First thing I did was I put the 12 inch 8 KST bars on it. She's got 50,000 miles on it. Sporting a GoPro. Did the mirrors, brake levers, derby cover, horn cover, zero 3D phone mount, deep cut gauge bezels, ignition cover, sorry about the traffic, backrest, just put the hitch on her. Heated grips, stainless steel cables. So that's what's between my legs. Stay ornery, everyone. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Iraq Vet here, showing you guys my 2011 Road Glide Ultra. Just picked her up this year. She's got the Vance and Hines Monster Ovals. My stay ornery black on black decal. Saddleman seats. Screaming Eagle intake. LA Chopper Twin Peaks handlebars. Memphis Shades. Five and a half inch windshield. Stuck here at work for the next 24 hours. Here's my other ride for the day. So, all right, y'all. There she is. Stay, stay safe. Stay on.